Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Sutton here. Uh, nice to meet you guys the other day. So we are kicking off AP Economics 2014-2015. First time we've done this at Overly High School for Mr. Sutton. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to introduce you to the first of many, many graphs that you're going to need to know about here in AP Econ. Uh, and we're going to do a little experiment tonight. So what I need you to do right now, pause the video, go do this right now, get yourself six pieces of paper. They can be printer paper, uh, notebook paper, whatever. They can be paper that you picked out of the garbage. I don't really care. Uh, but you need six sheets, all right? So pause the video, go do that. I'll wait. Okay, I'm done waiting. Uh, so what I want you to do on one of those sheets of paper, I want you to make this here. I want you to make a little graph, like so. I want you to put tens on, uh, you can put it on the vertical axis here, the Y. doesn't really matter, but... Uh, you put that there, and you put air, airplanes here. And I also want you to write round one, planes tense, round two, planes tense. Put that on one sheet of paper, put it off to the side, all right? Now, with the remaining five sheets of paper, you're going to make some things here. The first thing you're going to make is paper airplanes, all right? If you don't know how to, uh, ask, ask your neighbor, ask your buddy how to make a paper airplane. Uh, and then you need a friend or a, maybe a little brother, little sister, or you can just use your stopwatch on your uh, wrist. And give yourself 30 seconds, let's say. And I want you to take the next 30 seconds, 30 seconds, stop the video, and I want you to make as many paper airplanes as you can with the five sheets of paper that you have left. Don't cut them, don't rip them, don't try to do anything fancy. Don't, don't make this any more complicated than it has to be because it's really simple. Make as many paper airplanes as you can in the next 30 seconds with those five sheets of paper. Stop the video. I'll wait. Go. Okay, so let's say, uh, I don't know, I'm going to make it up. I made uh, three paper airplanes in the first round. Now, just out of curiosity, how many tents did you make? Not a trick question. The answer should be zero. I didn't tell you to make any tents. I said no tent making. I said just make paper airplanes. So in the first round, you made three planes and zero tents here. Uh, you may, if, if you made five planes, that's fine too. Your graph is going to look a little different. Uh, so what I want you to do now, I want you to plot this point. So I made three planes and zero tenths. Well, let's see here. If we treat this like it's a graph, I got one. Well, this down here, this is one airplane, two airplanes. I uh, will say three airplanes. But I've made zero tenths. Well, zero tenths is like uh, here. So three and zero. And I'll just label that with a number one. Okay? Now, here's what I want you to do next. I want you to take your same five sheets of paper, flatten them back out, un-airplane them, all right? And in this round, you're going to make tents. How do you make a tent? It's very simple. You fold the paper three times. One, two, and you to take 30 seconds, the same amount of time that you had to make the airplanes, and I want you to make it as many tents as you can. Stop the video, go. And you're done. All right, so let's say you made, uh, let's say I made four tents, okay? Four tents. How many airplanes did you make? Zero. I didn't tell you to make any airplanes. I said only make tents. I said, do the best you can, make, make tents as you can. All right? So you made zero airplanes. So now I want you to put this down on the, uh, on the graph, too. This time I made four tents. So tents are over here. So I go one, two, three, four. Put a dot here. All right? And we'll call this number two. Now we can do a third round here where I said, hey, make some combination of both. All right? Uh, I want you to think for a second. Are you going to be able to make three planes and four tenths if I give you another 30 seconds? No way. You could. You took three, 30 seconds to make just three planes. The idea that you could make some more tenths on top, huh, that's outlandish. All right? So I'm going to put a dot in the middle. If you want to do the third round and see how many you can do, that's fine. But I'm just going to put the third round. I'm going to pick a, pick a dot somewhere in the middle here. I'm going to go like here, let's say, all right? And I'm going to connect my dots, like so, all right? It's not really pretty, but it works. 
This is a production possibilities curve. Okay? This is what is possible for you to do in 30 seconds. Now, some people, or generally in economics, we're talking about like whole countries or industries or whole businesses. Uh, but here, this is what you were capable of in 30 seconds. We may measure how many uh, airplanes Boeing could make in a year and what their capability would be, or how many sausages uh, Poland could make in a year uh, with the resources that they have. And they would give us a production population curve just like this. All right, uh, take a break for a second. I gotta take a phone call.